What a great day, man. We got Hugh Jackman. Uh, we've seen him tear it up as Wolverine, and he hit the high notes as Jean Valjean in Les Mis. And now he's taking on another iconic role, Professor Harold Hill in the classic show, the music man. And yes, he's bringing trouble to River City and to Broadway. So worth the wait, huh? Oh. Can you believe you were talking about this thing oh. in 2019? You were ready to go in 2020. Yeah. And then we waited. I, I, I ran into someone who was at the show on Sunday and said, I had my tickets three years ago. <laughs> and I said, I know, I know how the, the wait felt, but it, it's all the sweeter oh for it now. God. And you feel it every, every night. You feel the audience just so excited to come back. There's 49 of us on stage, and the excitement and the joy is just palpable. What does that standing though feel like? Because you get them night after night. What does it feel finally oh. to have that again? It's incredible. There's nothing like the theatre. And, you know, I'm very, very lucky I get to do movies, but there's something about Broadway that just feels like home. Oh. There's something about the, the people, the atmosphere, and not just our show, the whole community. It feels like home, and I'm, I'm probably in my happiest place. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Oh. It's harder to get up to speak to you, but for you, I'll get up at any hour. <laughs> I love you. My wife was like, literally, I was on the phone, she goes, you, want, you say you have to sleep into eight, but for Hoda, you'll get up at 6.30. I said, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled that you're here. How about your Tony nominations? How many? Yeah. You got one. Sutton got Sutton one. Got the one. show got... Yeah, I Jane mean, Howdy Show got one. We, uh, for Santo, the designer, Warren Carlyle, choreography and best revival. And uh, this is Sutton's seventh Tony nomination. Or as I to say, between us, we have nine. So... Uh, <laughs> you, know what, you know what's yeah. great about you? You spend most of your time, or a lot of your time, shining a light on other members of your cast. I think Sutton got that Drama, drama Desk Award. The Drama League Award. Drama League Award. Yeah, That's yeah. a biggie. It's you, huge. You made sure that when the show was yeah. over, yeah. that the audience learned that bit of information. Yeah, and she's still not talking to me, but <laughs> sorry. Uh, but it, it is special because all awards generally split them up. You know, This is the one awards. The Drama League yeah. have Broadway, Off-Broadway, Off-Off-Broadway. They... It's one award, so they don't mm -hmm. split up actor and actress supporting lead or play or musical. They just give one. one. And she one for the whole season, and she won it. And it's so richly deserved because I think she's one of the greatest of all time. And it's my privilege to be with her every night. So I just wanted the audience to know that. Well, you're the coolest. You love The Music Man since you were a kid. Oh, love it. I remember you telling me, was it your yeah. very first... Very first musical. Musical. First musical, I was 14. Yeah. And I had to... If you wanted a part in my school musical, you had to audition. So yeah. if you just want to be in the, the ensemble, you, you're in. Yeah. But I wanted a part, so I, I'd never auditioned. So I opened up The Music Man, and the very first thing was this thing where you didn't have to sing. It was like talking. I'm like, perfect. And there were, but there were eight parts. It took yeah. me about a month to learn it. I still kind of know the whole thing. So you learned every single part? Every single part, yeah. Every, but you didn't, yeah. Get, you didn't get the main role, did you? When oh, you... no. I didn't. That was David yeah. Anderson. And... Uh, I actually, no, I've been in touch with him, and he was really good. By was the way. he really good? Yeah. Well, I just bought him tickets. He's coming, he's coming is to he? New York. Okay, so. well, we actually mm. also reached out to Ander. You call him oh, Ander? He did Ando. Ando, okay. No. David Anderson had a little something he wanted no. to say after he stole your part when you were in high school. Take a look. G'day, Jacko. <laughs> it's been a long time since we did the Music Man at school, so it's a big congratulations to you for moving from Salesman 2 to the leading role. <laughs> I cannot wait to get to New York to see the show and hopefully a cheeky beer. So I'll see you then, my man. <laughs> Said a cheeky beer. <laughs> That's so sweet. I'm sure he had zero idea I was even in the show. <laughs> He was. We all looked up to Ando. That is so cool. Did you have That's any amazing. idea back then? I mean, I know you loved theater, and I remember your, you wanted to learn to dance, and I think your brother sort of made fun of you when mm -hmm. you initially wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. But you, but he came around and said, actually, you should go ahead yeah. and take dance. Did you yeah. know from once you started that this was going to be your path? No. I, I, I did it. If I look back, I was always doing it at school, even at, at college. But for me, I just assumed it was just something you did, like you play golf, you know, it was, it's a fun thing to do. But if I look back, all the signs were there. I would spend all my time doing it. Even, I, even when I went to college, in my final year, I had to do my thesis, you know, to graduate. 90% of my time was doing this play, this little play. So it wasn't until I was about 22 where I was like, oh, hang on, this could be... Well, way to go. one of your biggest cheerleaders, and we just was your was your dad, and mm. I had the privilege of interviewing you mm. back in August of 2021. Mm. Yeah. And your dad was alive then, and I remember that yeah. it was a difficult time, and he yeah. since passed of Alzheimer's. Mm. Do you think about him when you're on stage? <sighs> All when the you're... time. I feel him. I have his 
picture there in my dressing room. And my dad is just was the sweetest man, and he would love this show. And the fact that he saw me do the show when I was 14, I could just see him crying his eyes out and and with joy. And the, the poor guy, he had to put up with so many movies that really are not his, you know, <laughs> bag over the years. He would only ever say wonderful mm-hmm. things, but mm-hmm. he would have absolutely loved it. But I feel, I feel his presence all the time, and I have a little moment before every show. Do I, you? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So... Uh, the last little bit was um, there were, I don't know if I, where I read it, but there was some place where I read it that said that you were going to be, you're going to do the Music Man for a while and then Justin Timberlake was going to come and take over. Yeah. Is that true? I'll open for Justin Timberlake any day. <laughs> like, that's, that'd be awesome. What is that? Something, do you think? JT, come on. I'll be happy. And, and if you want to show us off, I'll just step in. <laughs> JT, don't worry. If, you, if you're doing stadiums, don't worry, I'm there. Actually, could you take me with you on the stadium? That'd be great. Well, I'd love to see. We'll see. Well, Actually, he'd be great in the part. He's a great actor. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you're stand, you're planning on being there for a little bit longer. Just 20 years. Just 20. <laughs> I'm going to fool your Brenner this thing. We're going the whole hog. But you know, Justin will only be like 13 at that time. <laughs> He's seemingly very young. Always. Well, we love you. Love your love wife. You we love her, and your kids are all doing well. They're so good. Oh. And and thank you to you. Um, I'm going to give a shout. I like giving shout outs to people, but when I, it was a difficult time when you interviewed me last time, and you were incredibly kind, and I'll never forget it. So thank you, Hoda. Love you. Love you too. All right. Uh, you can see the Music Man on Broadway at New York's Winter Garden Theater. Coming up next today, bestsellers. You'll want to get your hands on this summer, including a little trick to keep away those pesky bugs. But first, this is today on ABC. Ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.